now it's the day three. And I was just checking out the, the goats and just realizing how tough life they are living up here in the mountains. And it's really humbling to realize how much uh, comfort my life is uh, full of, you know? It's like heated houses and good cars and it's easy living, you know? And uh, I find this uh, expedition uh, very hard and it's, you know, it's tough. I don't sleep good. I'm cold. I'm super hot, you know? But these people, they have no problem with it, you know? They're smiling, they're happy, and it just blows my mind to see that people live like this in uh, 2023, you know? It's a fruitful thought. And the goats stay with the herder. If they if they go too far, they might be eaten by a snow leopard. Same uh, spot as the uh, first day. I think we're gonna have our lunch and enjoy the weather. The boys are out searching. We haven't uh, heard anything yet, but we just have to keep our heads and it's a patient game and it's not like I'm in a zoo. We've been uh, extremely lucky, We've seen uh, two leopards, not the same leopards, so This is day three, and it's a waiting game. But let's have, have a lunch and take a coffee break and enjoy it. Two boys tracking. Yeah. Very fresh track. Here one goat just to kill, uh, not kill, just to bite. Bite and yeah. go. The bite goat is coming in here. Okay, down. okay. No, another goat is still there. Okay. But not eating, just to go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Man. 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 There is no circuit with Dodgen of a Tokta, non Harem, but he gets a hit. Yamanto Savo to the Shadow tradition. We just had a coffee break and uh, enjoying the sun, and on the way we saw a little owl, and then we saw a golden eagle, and of course, the, all the cameras were in the bags. A little bit disappointing, but you know, that's how it, how it goes. But the good news is the trackers that came up the mountain to meet us, they saw two leopards and they know what valley they are, they are walking. So yeah, we're going to change our location and hope for the best. Yeah, it's it's an amazing day.
Netherlands. I'm told uh, this valley is uh, called Blackstone Valley, and uh, the sculptors have run up to the hills, and I'm gonna enjoy the wonderful weather and search for pika. I'm told there is pika here. And I never seen it, so I'm almost excited as seeing a leopard. Sounds funny, but it's true. I'm Icelandic and we don't have most wildlife, at least mammals in Iceland. So. Hopefully I find one. Let's see what happens. There are tracks everywhere. I've seen uh, two or three very quick, but uh, I hear them very well. They make this uh, squeak sound, I think. Okay, now that's confirmed. I uh, got the pika in Mongolia. There is one behind me, but I'm not sure the camera will pick it up, but they are everywhere. I'm so close, it's, it's breathtaking for Iceland dude seeing Pika for the first time. It's absolutely amazing. I wish this animal was in Iceland. This was so cool. I saw this cool rock. And I went up here, heard this bird. And and I decided to sit down and just watch this stone in the falling light. And, of course, the bird came and just sat down and made a few pure poses. I'm so happy with this, you know. It's, it's embarrassing how excited I am. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh -huh. We saw the leopard. Maybe 800 meters minimum. Oki is calling them. It's good fun. Never gonna be a picture. Up there. We find the leopard. I'm recording. Sorry. No, no. Go ahead. Scream. <laughs> it's not the sharpest, the cleanest or brightest, but it is a snow leopard. This is the rest of the light. Magical day. Pure magic. So happy. Day three. And we are in Mongolia, Altai Mountains, and we have a snow leopard for three days in a row. That's uh, beep. Unbelievable. Ogi. Okay. So, what is the sound of the male leopard? Oh! Yeah, you make it. Oh! Oh! Good! Give me a little bit deeper.